Hi everyone. Uh, last session we discussed about uh, what is sales strategy. So in this session we are going to discuss steps for effective sales strategy. So what are the steps for effective sales strategy? Map out uh, your client journey pre and post sale. Understand what you do currently. For example, if you purchase your product. So what about the feedback? You can collect the feedback from your customers. So it depends upon the feedback, you can react. So brainstorm how that could be refined to reduce cost of sale and increase client satisfaction. Once you have identified your most profitable sales process, think about how this integrates with your marketing to attract and gain return sales value of your ideal client. Something we call your client avatar. Think about your target customer. Decide on the singularly key sales activity that if consistently applied in your business for the next 90 days would lead to a step change your organizational growth. Assign resource and refine your process to include this activity and monitor it on an ongoing basis. For example, add it as a recurring agenda point to your regular sales meetings. So these are the steps for effective sales strategy. So next we are going to discuss determining strategy plan for long-term objectives. So basic steps to create, determine strategic plan for long-term objectives. There are four steps. Create a strategic plan that includes a list of all long-term business objectives. It includes increasing profits by a certain percentage, expanding the business by hiring new employees or moving to a larger facility or increasing the number of products and services currently offer so long term we already discussed it's a vision it's a long term objective mission is a short term objective so you are going to frame your objective for a long run so step 2 support each long term objective with smaller short term objective it's nothing but mission for example if you want to increase business profit by 3% over the next 5 years list several short term objectives such as updating your website to accept online sales Conducting market research to find uh, to find new target markets and reducing overhead cost by a specific percentage. Measure the success of short-term objectives to ensure that these objectives effectively help reach long-term objectives. For example, if you update your website to generate online sales, but overall sales have not increased over the last sales quarter, you may need to determine ways to attract more online customers. Then last step four, evaluate the strategic plan each year to see if you need to treat just long-term objectives. Unfortunately, long-term objectives that seem necessary now may no longer be necessary in a year or two. Make changes to these objectives accordingly. Next, setting the account strategy. So it's nothing but PDCA. So plan, do, check, at. First, anything you can plan. So without planning, we can't do anything. So plan, next to do. So you can react. Then you can check whether it will be positive or whether it will be okay. Just you can test it. Then everything, it will be okay. Finally, we're going for implementation. That is act. So there are four steps to set an effective account strategy. First one, analyze your current position with regard to your account and with regard to your specific sales objective. So what about your current position? What about your current level of sales? So think through possible alternate positions. Determine which alternate position would best secure your objective and devise an action plan to achieve it. Implement your action plan. So what is the conclusion for the sales strategy? Establish a clear and meaningful strategic planning process. Engage all levels of employees to ensure success. That is a teamwork. So that's only I said teamwork never pay. So use an innovation process for all new product development and service industry. I mean service delivery. Create projects to manage the strategies and prioritize all of these projects to ensure they are properly resourced. Reshape the organizational culture. Because organization culture is very important for every employee. So organization culture, you can reshape to be more adaptive to the changes the strategic plan requires. So these are the steps to learn about that sales strategy. Next, we are going to discuss corporate strategy. 
So we already discussed corporate strategy. It's a single business firm. You can see the picture. Business level, it's a business level strategy, research and development, finance strategies, marketing strategies, human resource strategies, then functional level strategies. So these are all the, it's related to the single business form. You are the proprietor. It's a multi-business form, two or more, corporate office. So there are four business you are doing. Head office is in one place and you are having branches. It's a business level strategy. So what is the difference between the corporate level strategy and business level strategy? Related with single business unit is a business level. Corporate level related with overall corporate and more than one business. For example, it is a Reliance. Reliance Petroleum, Reliance Telecommunication, Reliance Department of Stores. So like that. So it aims to gain competitive advantage, aims to gain corporate advantage. Main strategies are cost leadership and differentiation. Main strategies are expansion. It means a diversification. Not only you focus on the one product, you can focus on diversity on all the products and stability and retouchment. You have to revitalize that, the same business and diversify it into different types. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all. So next session, we are going to discuss very important uh, topic.